It's a way of the Mr. Quickie, oh yeah. I don't think I've ever dedicated a month's worth of videos to anyone, not in my nearly 18 years of doing this. Perhaps that's an oversight. If so, I have the remedy. I'm dedicating this month's videos to my old synchronized swimming partner, Alex O'Connor, who used to go by the moniker, The Comic Skeptic. Seemed like he doesn't care for that anymore, nor does he need it, as he's made quite the name for himself. I'm dedicating this month's videos to Alex, not because he wore the Speedo and swim cap better than moi, but because he has proved himself a genuine and perhaps unrivaled force in the atheist community. Almost everyone now uses hyperbole in the titles of their videos here. People are routinely demolished, destroyed, crushed, obliterated, etc. Then you watch the video and realize that you have been clickbaited without even tooting his own horn. Alex, in fact, demolished, destroyed, crushed, obliterated, sliced, diced, and pureed Christian excusagist and presidentially pardoned felon Dinesh D'Souza in a live debate, no less. I've never cared for Dinesh myself, not even back when I was a conservative libertarian Republican. But honest to hitch, I nearly shed a tear for the poor little guy. It was like watching a cat toying around with a mouse before killing it. I was actually afraid that Alex would be arrested for man's laughter. I think that's how you pronounce it. If you haven't already watched the debate, I don't know what you're still doing here. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You, you can finish this and then go watch. If, if you're the type who slows down to look at a car accident, like everyone here in LA. Of course, you're probably thinking that I'm biased, being Alex's old sink and swim partner. That's what we used to call it. But I guarantee you, I'm being as objective as one can be on this. And you know how I know that? Because YouTube is now filled with Christian excuses just throwing Dinesh D'Souza right under the bus. And when it's absolutely clear that throwing him right back in prison would be more appropriate. Boy, the Christian right, they really love their felons, don't they? This is another reason I could never convert. Plus, I've never shot a puppy in the face. Now, the reason I'm dedicating this month's videos to Alex is because while watching him John Wick Dinesh D'Souza into a theological body bag, I noticed his technique and have done my best to emulate it here in my upcoming videos. Sometimes gently, sometimes... No, I'm, I'm kidding. There's, there's no way to do what Alex did gently. Meekness and oblivion just don't go hand in hand. What Alex did was continually remind people that the tribal war god of Abraham... And listen to what you just said. The god that you believe in is acting like a tribal war god. The god of the... Yes. I love that Alex was able to use that phrase, a favorite of mine. What Alex did was continually remind people that the tribal war god of Abraham is a truly monstrous douchebag slash ignoramus. And without ever using those words, he simply quoted scripture over and over again. I applaud this technique and use it myself. The thing to remember when debating Christians is that they should always be on the defensive. Theists make all kinds of extraordinary... No stupid, ridiculous claims. And you have to keep the stupid and ridiculous front and center. Which is exactly what Alex did. Slavery, genocide, basic morality and human decency, cosmology, etc. So if I sound a little extra redundant this month, like I'm repeating myself or saying the same thing over and over again, perhaps every month, now you know why. People need to be reminded that the monster you're fighting is indeed a monster, especially when he's billed as an all-loving super being. This is probably the most important thing I learned from Alex back when we were rehearsing our synchronized swimming routines. Once again, I'm me. Thanks for watching.